Okay, now whether you sit at a computer all day, you take care of the kids, or you, you labour on a building site, you're more than likely to be affected by back pain at some stage. Our diet and fitness guest today is going to show us how yoga can help. Welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge, yoga instructor Erin O'Hara. Thanks. Welcome back. Really nice to have you here. Um, back pain, can't avoid it, can you? No, I think everyone at some stage has experienced some level of back pain, mm -hmm. um, whether it's been really agonising and stay in bed for days on end or just a mild back pain. Or just a mild tweak. So what yeah. are the worst movements you think for our backs? Well the big ones are sitting. Most people will drive in the car and then sit at a desk all day and then they'll go home and they'll sit drive in their car mm. and then they'll get to the other side and so tired and then they'll sit on the couch. Um, and that's one big problem for back pain is slouching in chairs. Also picking up big items and not bending your knees and leaning over to the side and picking up a large item can also have um, a big problem yeah, for your using back. using your back like a crane. I always remember my mum used to say that, don't use your back like a crane. I mean mums in particular are often sort of bending down and scooping stuff up and toys and children and things. That makes them very prone to back pain, doesn't it? Absolutely. And also when they've just had a baby, their core stability is not quite as good. What so... core stability? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that makes it a lot more challenging as well they're also carrying a baby all the time um, and so you just have to be very cautious and when so bending down. got one on your hip too then you get some on a sort of a wonky angle don't you? Yeah. So what are some yoga moves then that can help or what can we do? Yeah I'll show you a few different things that you can do at home and yes. um, some things for your spine just to loosen everything up because generally it's all about getting some more space and flexibility through the spine so okay. one of my favorites is spinal flex which is just rocking back and forward on the pelvis and you've got 26 vertebrae in the spine so this is just just helping to get everything moving along yeah. um, and loosening up any tightness. The most common place is the compression through the lower back. Yes. So this is going to be great for just loosening up that. And then the other one, moving up the spine into more mid-back, you've got a little twist, which is great for just loosening up through mid-spine. So you can do it with a dynamic way like this, or we're also going to show you in a minute a laying down twist, which is a little bit more relaxing as well. How, off, how long should you do that for? I usually do a couple minutes, so maybe two minutes of each posture. Mm -hmm. um, and that'll really help to get into the posture and release any tension as well. And always using your breath because yoga without breath is, is not yoga at all. Yeah, and it's funny because when yeah. you're doing things like that, sometimes you can hold your breath, which is yep. not the thing you want to be doing. Absolutely. Okay, so what can we do lying down yep. then? So lay, laying down, so hamstrings is another area why we get sore lower backs is if we've got really tight hamstrings. So a good one for if you've got a lot of back pain is to release through your hamstrings. And I love to use a strap, especially if you're super tight, mm -hmm. is putting the strap around the ball and give your hamstring a really big stretch here by holding a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a towel or anything to really hold and give yourself some support. You could use a belt too, couldn't yep, you? Yep, absolutely. And then my other favourite, absolutely favourite one for relaxing at the end of a class is just a gentle twist and you can do it with one leg up just moving your hips over and then give your spine a nice big twist. Oh, that always feels and good. And it's so good at the end. And you can just take some nice big breaths and you might even find that your back will come into alignment. You might get a little crack there, here and there to just release through the spine. A little groan. Which is great too. Oh, that feels good. So, now, what can you do then? So you can't obviously do that if you're at work and you need to get down on the floor and yeah. do the rollover. What can you do at your desk if you're feeling a bit yep. sort of twitchy? So working at a desk, you're obviously sitting all day. So one good thing is if you've got a really hard back on your chair, my favourite one is opening up through the front of the chest and just interlacing your fingers and give a nice big stretch through the heart and you'll find it might help to release through the upper back because mm -hmm. quite often we're sitting like this at the computer all day so it's going to open through the chest. Mm -hmm. The other good one is a little twist by just placing your hand on your knee and then just leaning back and get a nice big twist. Just make sure you're not sitting right against the back of your chair so you've got a little bit more space to create a twist as well. Oh excellent. You know what those, th those are making me feel good just watching you do them actually. It's such a good release isn't it? Hey Erin thank you. It's always a pleasure having you in the studio. Really good advice for caring for our backs too and for some great healthy tips, recipes and more check out the latest Health 2000 free magazine which is in store right now.